Hi friends, so this is the continuance of my last blog which was about for each enumerator where we had where we had seen how to load the SMO objects and how to iterate over the SQL Server management objects. So in this video what I am going to show you is, is how we would be using the ADO enumerator and how we can enumerate over a, a set of record sets uh, which form which ex are extracted from a SQL Server table. Uh, so let's go ahead and, 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 and see a demo of this uh, particular blog. What I have in here is I have created a data load table uh, which is having three uh, columns. Uh, it has the table name, the file path or the directory where the file is kept and then we have a file name. Uh, if you look at, I have inserted two records into this uh, uh, table which is having the values as under. So let's try to just select the values and, and what we see is I have table employee and sales which have uh, the file paths respect, respectively uh, and the file names are of the order generic type of emp file uh, emp underscore file and sales underscore file now if, if you look at the files will be dropped in, in this order generally it will have the year month and date timestamp when the file will be dropped here for loading so this is my landing folder you could say where the files are dropped uh, and the sales will also be of this type uh, and considering that this file is, is uh, to be loaded on a daily basis uh, and, and, it's, and it is landed uh, or, or put in here for, for data load so now let's move ahead with this prerequisite and try to see uh, how we load these files dynamically into the SQL server tables to do so uh, let's just try to take a look what we have in the SSIS package uh, and, and how do we use or leverage the ADO enumerator task to uh, accomplish this requirement uh, so do so I have created a SSIS package which is having a SQL task and then a for each uh, enumerator and which is also having a, 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 a SQL task now for loading the data now let's just start uh, off by looking at the uh, variables I have created four variables here uh, the first variable which is of the get table type which is of object uh, and then we have table file uh, and directory uh, variables which are of string type each and they have been initialized to nothing as of uh, uh, as of now so that is the variables for you next let's move on uh, uh, and see what we have in the SQL task for get tables the SQL task is having or, or mapping the complete result set uh, which is mapped to the full result set uh, and it is it is pointing to my dev database the SQL uh, task is querying on the data load table for the table names file path and the file name and then we have the result set the complete result set which is of the three columns are being mapped to the object uh, type variable which was of var get table type so we are mapping this uh, complete result set or the full result set to this variable of object type that's all in this SQL task there is no parameter as such and there is no expression this is this is as simple for you now we move on to the for each loop container for each loop container we have the collection object defined as a for each ADO enumerator and then the ADO, ADO source variable is, is, is that of the object variable which is actually uh, the var get table variable which is uh, using the rows in the, in the first table uh, or the complete result set now while mapping this this variable uh, the object variable we are mapping this variable to uh, the map table variable the var directory and the file names uh, and the indexes uh, as we as I had told you it starts for, for uh, from 0 1 and 2 so we have mapped each of the values collected in the object uh, to these variables respectively so that's where your variables are mapped iteratively each for each of the records that are that are fetched so, so it's going to loop across the entries and map these val values for you uh, that is the collection and the variable mapping for the ADO enumerator next we create a SQL task which is having or, or, or mapping these values uh, the table directory and the file name uh, is being is being collected or passed on as an input parameter to uh, your SQL task so and this is your SQL code uh, now what do I have in the SQL code 
uh, okay let's move to SQL server and this is your SQL code as such where I have declared a variable table which will map uh, the table variable uh, uh, and then I have the directory which will map the file path then I have the file name and then I have declared a SQL string and date time stamp now date time stamp is, is basically to generate this value uh, this this code is going to generate uh, this value and then what we have here is we are trying to build a SQL string uh, which will uh, perform the BCP and finally we are using the XP underscore command shell to execute this SQL string uh, so the SQL string uh, is something of this this form it will create a BCP uh, statement for for your input and we are going to push it inside with the in operator and and it will be a, a sample of this would be something like this that's all for you that's all that that we are trying to do now so if what we have here in sales table uh, is this records uh, let me try to truncate both of these tables so that we do not have any records so we don't have any records so that's your SSIS package for your for each loop container uh, with an ADO enumerator task. Uh, let's try to run this and then see how the load of the data works for us. Perfectly so. Uh, the SSIS package is executed. Now if we look at our tables, they have been loaded with the file and the data respectively. Uh, and the data resides in the file here so that was a very simple demonstration for you guys uh, about ADO enumerator task and how we can enumerate across a, a full result set and map them to a variable uh, uh, sorry to the columns uh, and then pass it on to perform certain functionality uh, next we'll look at look at for each file enumerator and, and, and how do we load across for each file over and the subdirectories Thank you friends.